So here is the problem that we are going to solve today. So you have written a scrappy spider and you are running it using scrappy run spider and you have to supply dash o and then you create a csv output. But you want things to be automated. So every time this spider is run, the output should be sent to your email. And this is what we are going to look in this video. So first thing first, we need to convert this spider into regular Python script. So this I covered in one of my previous video where I talk about debugging. But the idea is very simple. So you import crawler process and then you create an object of crawler process. In the crawl method, you pass in the class name and then you call the start method and now you have your regular python script so if you run this just like a python script your spider will execute and you will have your result now the second problem is a we need a csv output for that you will have to specify this setting in your spider so note that this is new in version 2.1 this feature was also there earlier but the name of the setting was different so because we are working with standalone spider so we'll be setting the custom setting parameter now custom setting parameter is a dictionary and the setting that we need to change is a feeds so this is the key and this is going to be a dictionary so we have a dictionary inside a dictionary now what do we want we want a CSV. So let's call it books.csv and note that this is another dictionary. So this also need few parameters. At least one of them is mandatory and that is format. So this is how it looks. So once you have written this in place, you run this and you will have your books.csv. Now if I run it, it will create books.csv so let's skip that step and directly go to the email part now what i will recommend is you go through this blog post and understand how you can send mails securely using python i'm using app password what i've done is i've created one file config and i've stored both the username and password there all right so let's write a function which is actually going to send the mail so this function let's call it send mail so let's start with the imports so we will be importing smtp lib and then we need to import from email message email message now let's create one object of email message and now we are going to set our from to subject and the body so this is very much like setting the dictionary so this is where you write your from address what i'm going to do is i'm going to call config dot email user so this is where actually i have set my username and then in the two i'm just going to use the same one again but you can use any any email address doesn't matter so config dot email user and let's set the subject so youtube rocks message dot set content so this is where we are going to write the body so this is the message body now finally we need the content of this books dot csv so let's uh, read that file with open this file and we are going to open it as read as f and let's read this file and store the content in a variable let's call it data so now we have the content of the file available in this variable now what we will do is we will call message dot add attachment function so you can pass data file name main type and subtype so main type and subtype you will need only if your file is not a text file so csv is actually a text file so we can skip that but we have to pass the file name 
file name is going to be let's use the original one so now we have created the attachment so our email body is ready now comes the part to connect to the server and sending this so what we are going to do is from smtp lib we are going to call the function smtp and this expects the host and in case of gmail the host is smtp.gmail.com and then we need to pass in the port so the port in case of gmail is 587 and we need to store it somewhere so let's call it server and once we have the instance of the server we need to start a secure connection so we'll be calling the start tls function now sometimes you will see that people will send ehlo or hello but i have not seen this required in my practice but of course you can send it and then we need to log into the server and we need username and password which i have saved in a different file so config dot email user and config email password so we are logging in using email and password then server dot send message and where is the message so this is the message msg and finally do not forget to call the quit method so that your connection to the server is actually closed so let me quickly revise what we are doing so this is the email creation part and this is connecting to the server and sending the message so that's all we needed to do so this function we need to call after this process start so let's run this and see if we are getting this email and we have this email here we have the csv attachment and this is the message body so that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one